This won't come as a huge shock. Trucks are big and thirsty, accounting for 70% of greenhouse gases in the UK, but only 5% of the miles driven on our roads. A big shake-up is planned for the sector, not unlike the one for cars. Yes, trucks have to go all electric too. By 2040, HGVs will need to be zero emission, and smaller trucks will need to hit the same target five years earlier. So we've come all the way to Sweden to sample the future today. This EV rig is the Volvo FH. The FH weighs 40 tonnes fully loaded. 40 tonnes. That's about 10 to 20% more than the current HGVs. So what? Well, in cars, the batteries are heavier than the engines they replace and usually account for a fifth of the total vehicle weight. By that mass, this thing should need eight tonnes of batteries to function. Oof. Right, first things first. It's very clean, it's very tidy, but there's one big thing missing, and that's a gear stick. And normally in a truck, that's got loads of movement and it's kind of messy, but it's not here. But what there is, is a sea of buttons and two screens. Anyway, that's the technical stuff, and I'll get onto that a little bit later, because the thing that's immediately caught my eye is down here. I've got a fridge and cooler, and next to that, I've got a Volvo coffee machine. Put that way, what I also like is this steering wheel. It's got two different types of movement, which is done on a foot pedal. It's all on air, and just moving it is really light. I can pull it down, and then when I release the pedal a little bit, I can then change the angle of the top there, so I can really get a nice, comfortable seating position. But I tell you what, I'm also a little bit concerned because there's a sea of buttons. I can see there's a, what looks like a reverse button, a neutral button, and an automatic button, so maybe that's in replacement of the gear stick. Volvo's Martin Tomlinson is going to help me navigate this thing before I actually drive it. I'll tell you what, Martin, I'm glad you're here. What's up? Well, I got in expecting a nice big gear lever. It's in these it's, buttons It's here. all on the dash. But it is literally three buttons, reverse, neutral, and automatic for yeah. go. I'm sorry, press A, and away we go. Don't forget your seatbelt. Actually invented by the Volvo group. This is 40 tonnes. Well, it's 40 tonnes, yeah. Oh, what? Gliding away. Silent. You get in a big truck and the thing you're going to expect is, honestly, big chugging noises. Yeah. Wow. The refinement of this thing is unreal. Normally when we get a diesel truck back from a customer, you normally jump in it and the, uh, the radio is usually on volume 25. Yeah, yeah. When you jump back in one of these, the volume is usually on about four or five. Really so low. It is. It's, so, so, so it's quiet. deadly quiet, isn't it? it is. It's sort of spooky, because this is, I mean, this is a big bit of kit. And it's got a me behind the wheel, which is slightly concerning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this is a 12% climb, so 12%. don't be fine to uh, give it some. see what it'll do. It might not feel like we're going that quick, but we're actually moving. 40 tonnes of weight, yeah. up a 12% incline. I feel like we're going quite quick, I'm not going to lie to you. It's just how smooth and slight, it's effortless. I'm on private land, but I'm still being careful, as the FH costs 290 grand, at least 50% more than a diesel. I thought my knees were going to be knocking, I'm like, what is this going to be in control <laughs> of? But it's, it's straight away, I'm feeling really in control, just happy. Fantastic. What a lovely thing. So come on then, give me some facts and figures. So this has got the standard 12 gear gearbox automatic. Yeah, a 12 speed I shift gearbox, which we fit as standard in all the heavy duty trucks that we sell. But this, the electric motor version, uses the gearbox in a slightly different way. Yeah, it does. Because of the amount of torque that it's got, it falls off in, in seventh, which is the, the lowest gear of the high range. I like range. the way you just casually go, yeah, it pulls off in seventh. I mean, if <laughs> you know, most things pull off in seventh, you're going to stall badly. What sort of torque are we talking in this? Uh, just 2,400 newton meters, really. <laughs> Um, just, hang on, just that wall. Torque is a reflection of pulling power and engine flexibility. The Porsche Taycan, one of the fastest road cars we've ever driven, has a thousand newton meters of torque. This truck has two and a half times that. So, this being an EV, I've been kind of concerned because to get any kind of range on here, Surely you're going to need several shed loads of batteries. I mean, if you're going by the 20% rule, this is going to need nearly eight tons of batteries, and those kind of figures scare me. So what has this got to make it go? Yeah, so this one's got the maximum amount of batteries you can have on this particular model, which mm -hmm. is six. Each of those batteries only weighs 520 kilograms each. 
All right, so I've got about three tonne. Yeah, a tonne and a half on each side, yeah, three okay. tonnes in total. Yeah. So that's not too shocking. No, not too. It's not my eight tonnes, which had my knees enough. No, nowhere near eight tonnes. The big question, what kind of range can I be expecting? So with six batteries, this truck will do around about 300 kilometres. 300 kilometres. On so a full charger. Somewhere just over 200 miles on Absolutely. one charge. Yeah. Hmm, that's only a third of a fully fueled diesel. But EVs for now will always be second best for range. But fast rechargers will help, and surely other EV aspects like brake regeneration will be a key factor. Obviously, I've got a big weight now, so the opportunity for regen has got to be big, isn't it? Absolutely, it's massive, yeah. So, so my foot's off the brake now, we're going down this hill. So we're going down a 16% hill. Yeah. Uh, so at this point in time, because you've now come off, as soon as you come off the throttle yeah. or brake, you've got three motors constantly regenerating the batteries. So there's a huge amount of power going back in there constantly. But three tons, there's got to be some big charging times involved in getting this thing back up to charge. So if you've got a 22 kilowatt charger, it'll charge overnight in around 10 hours. Yeah. If you've got a 350 kilowatt charger, which this truck can charge at, yeah. then obviously we're talking a couple of hours. So it makes all the difference depending on the batteries and of course the size of the charger you're using. Currently, there are five EV trucks in the range, and they won't be suitable for all jobs. They're designed to accommodate half the market in terms of size and load. But crucially, are they going to make a difference to the planet? Well, it should. Even though manufacturing the batteries of an EV truck creates more CO2 than making a diesel engine, in use, these trucks only consume half the energy needed over a 200-mile drive and keep the air free of soot. Think of the difference that will make over the years. And if the batteries are disposed of in a sustainable way, that will make even more sense. Let's just hope our roads can manage the massive tonnage. We'll just have to wait and see.